proportions. That from experts today, and as Tom Monahan reports, attempts are underway to address this critical issue. We are in a desperate situation because Connecticut is 49th behind Alaska in the proportion of nurses to patients. It's estimated that by the year 2010, Connecticut will face a 33% shortage of registered nurses. Today, 5th yeah, District yeah, Congressman yeah, Christopher yeah, Murphy yeah, said yeah, Connecticut yeah, is not alone, yeah, that the entire country is dealing with the same problem. That over the next eight years, we're going to need one million new nurses across the country. The Connecticut State University system is trying to expand its nursing programs to address this shortage. Central Connecticut State University, for example, is getting about $185,000 in federal funds to educate students, provide graduate training opportunities, and also for ships and equipment. Dr. Linda Wagner, chair of Central's nursing department, says the university needs more dollars to expand the nursing program there. The additional faculty, additional resources um, to further develop our lab as well as to continue to develop contracts with the hospitals and community agencies. Mary Jane Williams is chair of government relations for the Connecticut Nurses Association and the real need she says is simply getting more teachers that the students who want to become nurses are out there looking for an education but that there are not enough teachers to provide that education and ultimately she says the people who need health care will suffer. People aren't going to get the services and, and that's what's happening and the, the poorest and the most vulnerable are the ones that do not have access to care so what's happened is that health care has become a privilege not a right and especially in the inner cities now congressman murphy says he's working to get more dollars for the four schools in the state university system the nursing shortage is a national crisis he says one that federal and state governments cannot ignore lisa thank you tom the latest now in the search for a missing waterbury man